coming to mandala bandha it is circular more commonly it is done over head and in trunk also we can do this mandala bandha stagiga bandha is stem like bandage angushtanguli metra gresho we can correlate it to recurrent bandage which we are doing in amputated limb stagiga can be correlated to recurrent which we are doing in amputated limb i will uh, explain recurrent bandage at that particular time yamaga or yamala is double bandage if there is one wound over this particular area and other over this particular area at the distal end of humerus and the proximal area of fora whenever there is two ulcers or two wounds if we are covering this particular two area with a single bandage that particular bandage is called as yamaga yamaga bandha or yamala bandha katwa is four tailed bandage hanu shanga gandeshu katwa katwa is doing in uh, that particular bandage is doing in mandible fracture and temporomandibular joint dislocation in all dislocation we should give an immobilization for a period of 3 weeks in katwa bandha what we are doing is a small piece of gauze is layered in five layers uh, a the distance of that particular gauze is from here to here like this so measure this particular measurement of that particular patient and then it is divided into two tails the two ends are divided into two tails then it become four tails and then we apply this particular middle aspect of the bandage over here and through the anterior aspect of ear and posterior aspect of ear here we are taking the anterior tail and posterior tail and here also anterior tail and posterior tail the right sided posterior tail is tied to the left sided anterior turn like cross crossing we are giving that particular bandage the left sided or right sided anterior turn to the left sided posterior turn likewise we are doing katwa bandha katwa bandha very simple bandage actually first we are measuring the total distance the total area to be immobilized and then four to five turns to four to five layers gauze is taken and then apply the middle part over here and through the two anterior and posterior aspect of ear we are taking that particular tails and then tied over here actually this is katwa bandha which we are doing in mandible fracture and temporomandibular joint dislocation this particular bandage is very much effective in this particular condition china bandha is eye bandage abangyo china after applying pindi we are doing this particular bandage vibandha is prashtodala varasu vibandha in rib fracture and in t12 fracture we can use this vibandha bandha coming to vibandha bandha here we can see vibandha bandha this is actually compression dust compression dust to identify the rib fracture in this particular position patient should be in seating position and apply a pad over the affected part if there is t12 fracture then over the dorsal spine we are applying this particular pad the pad should be applied on the affected area and we can pour morivanna this particular bandage is very much effective in pain management in pain management in rib fracture and also in t12 fracture this particular bandage is very much effective the width of this particular bandage is 30 cm and length is 5 m for hip spike bandage also we are taking this particular same measurement 30 cm width into into 5 m in shoulder spike bandage also we are taking the same measurement 30 centimeter width into 5 meter three circular turn should be taken three circular turn should be taken and at last after taking three circular turns at the end you should take a turn after tying you should take a turn through the cervical area also to avoid slipping of this particular bandage downward this is typical regarding vibandha bandha vibandha bandha ensure that the patient should look straight while doing this particular bandage when we are taking a cervical turn make sure ensure that the patient should sit straight all patients should look down what is happening here what is happening here 
if we are doing the bandage in this particular position in cervical flexion after two to three days patient will return to op due to cervical pain so make sure that after doing this particular bandage check that whether it is loose or not pin should be applied same as of hip spiker bandage to avoid inward rolling you can mark the affected part and ask the patient to pour morivanna in the bandha bandha check that it is loose or not this turn taken to the cervical area it should be loose so ensure that it is loose it much it may not be much tight but this particular bandage should be tight immediately after the mobilization patient felt pain relief in rib fracture and in tibial fracture immediately after the bandage patient felt good relief in pain this is vibanda banda if we are not taking this cervical turn then this bandage is called as mandala banda mandala banda if you are taking this cervical turn then it is called as vibanda banda vidana is correlated to cephalic bandage murdhini vidanam which we are doing on the head nowadays nowadays we are not doing this particular bandage as we are missing head injury so that we are not in our opd we are not doing this particular bandage actually vidana is bandage done or to head uh, in uh, vidana banda we can use a roller bandage which is rolled from both the sides from the center here we can start the bandage or otherwise we can take anterior turn to posterior turn like this anterior to posterior three to four turns should be taken like this and then we can fix, fix it with circular turn in vidana banda either you can use a roller bandage which is rolled from the both sides and then it should start the center part should start from here or we can use one single roller bandage from anterior to posterior like this four to five turns should be taken like this from anterior to posterior and then it should be fixed with circular turn actually this is vidana banda or cephalic bandage Coming to Gofana Bandha, all of us know that it is T bandage which we are doing in perineal area, in ARC procedures, or if there is profuse bleeding, to arrest bleeding, we can use this Gofana Bandha, which is very effective. Panjangi Bandha is five-tailed bandage, Jatrana Urdham Panjangi Bandha. Instead of four-tail, if we are doing using five-tail, it is called as Panjangi. In Hanusandhi Vislesha, in Susurdam Chigilsa, Susurda Ajarya is plain Panjangi Bandha. But as per Sutrasana, Susurda Ajarya spine, Hanushanga Gandeshu Katwa, and Ulsangi, as Vagbada Ajarya is more practical, he included Ulsangi Banda sling or triangular bandage, which is very effective in all upper limb injury. In all upper limb injury, we must advise a sling from the very beginning. 